It's tough to find a surprise in smartphone design these days, but ZTE has risen to the challenge with an Android that goes from candy bar to handheld flat screen in about two seconds. The Axon M is the first folding smartphone to hit the scene in a long time, and this is a Mr. Mobile first look. I only got to spend about an hour with the Axon M, and it was a pre-release version with pre-production software, so don't take this as anything close to a full review. But I'm glad I got the time with it I did, because I loved checking out this funky folding form factor. It's actually pretty simple. When the phone is closed, it looks like a thicker-than-usual monoblock smartphone with Gorilla Glass 5 on front and back, separated by an aluminum mid-plate with a volume rocker, an application button, and a combination power key and fingerprint scanner. When that 5.2-inch display starts to feel a little confining, you just pull on the back plate, which rotates on the side hinge until a second 5.2-inch screen clicks into place alongside the main one. The result? A more expansive Android canvas than you'd otherwise be able to fit in a pocket. This isn't the first time we've seen a device like this. The Kyocera Echo from 2011 used a similar design with a more complicated hinge. Sadly, though, the Axon M suffers the same principal shortcoming as that older phone. Because its screens aren't perfectly bezel-less, an ugly stripe bisects the display area when the screens are joined. But ZTE compensates for this with software that lets you leverage the screens differently depending on what you're trying to do. You can use them as a single integrated canvas, you can mirror the displays side by side, or you can run two apps independently, one on each screen. While that multitasking mode is a neat trick, I actually like the mirror mode better. Fold the phone into a tent and you can share the same screen back and front, which could be helpful for showing off videos over dinner, say. Having screens on both sides also lets ZTE pull off another neat trick. There's just a single camera here, which you use for both standard photos and selfies. The camera specs are a mixed bag. The f1.8 aperture is pretty big, but the IMX350 sensor uses pixels that are pretty small. And while there is EIS on board, there's no optical stabilization. So again, the whole thing is a big, we'll see. ZTE didn't have exact pricing or availability info by the time this video hit the server. I'll throw them in the comments below once I get them. But the company did tell me that it's definitely not positioning this as a budget phone. That's concerning because it's not exactly shipping with the brightest spec sheet I've ever seen. The processor is from last year, the Android Nougat version is old too, and most frustrating of all, this model will be exclusive to AT&T in the United States. That's good for Big Blue, who gets to pitch this phone as a portable screen for DirecTV, but not really good for anyone else. Now, for what it's worth, ZTE heavily inferred that should this phone do well, Others like it will follow on other networks. And helping to make up for the disappointments on the fundamentals, the Axon M features a dual speaker design that splits output between a single bottom port and the earpiece speaker. It's got a headphone jack with the same audio chipset as in the Axon 7 Mini. And it's packing a pretty big battery, given how much space the company didn't really have to work with. Finally, ZTE also promises that the Android Oreo update for this phone is already in the works. I love it when a company throws convention to the wind, even if the result is a variation on a theme we've seen before. And the hardware here feels very well made, with tight hinge action, satisfying locking clicks, and enough mass to avoid feeling cheap. But given the older internals, the carrier exclusivity, and the expected mid to high price point, I'm not confident the Axon M will find its way into many pockets this holiday season. Stay tuned for the full Mr. Mobile review for my final verdict. Make sure you don't miss that by subscribing to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube, and if you want to see test photos from this phone when it does launch, be sure to follow me on Instagram at the same handle. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.